feeling right for important stuff is topic number two. No idea what it is, right? <laughs> so we've talked in the past many times how when we're sitting open house and maybe we're going to a listing consultation, our brain talks us out of stuff. I know I, it happened to me this morning. It happened to me this morning. I'm working out and you're doing that last rep and your brain goes, I can't do it anymore. Happens every time. Happens in open house. Oh, everybody, I hear this all the time. So, you know, you can just tell me this, but I'll probably answer back. People say, everybody already has an agent in open house. Everybody has an agent. Well, we actually know less than 5% really do because they're only an agent if they have a buyer's representation contract signed and less than 5% do. But we're talking ourselves out of this. So self-talk is important. It's very difficult, though. So there's another way for treatment of bad self-talk. And that's putting yourself in a physical state. Well, we're not going to do the power move here. We're going to do something even more fun. We're going to do something more fun. And it's going to be active. We're going to get our blood flowing. And I'm going to need a volunteer. Phoebe. Fran. 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 <laughs> While I'm talking, Fran will have you, and you don't, there aren't that many choices, just grab whatever you got. Grab, and what we're going to do is you're going to have one assignment and you're going to behave like that. And I really want you to put your actor, actress hats on there, in there, okay? And feel what it's like. Feel what it's like because I want you to emulate the right one when you're going to a listening appointment or when you're at an open house. So you put yourself in the right position to pick up and convert a client. Gotcha. I got it. Coach. Three. Well, you want to do all of these. Okay, so here I'm going to give you examples. So what do you got, Melissa? Mine is light. Oh, she needs a new one. No, I'm Oh, she needs a new one. No, there's no blank. What do you got, Kim? Be occupied, right? Preoccupied. Have you ever seen anyone that's preoccupied and they're walking by you? Like, <laughs> I tend to get preoccupied. And then you're, they're just walking by and you're just like that. And they kind of don't, just don't notice anything, right? You're kind of, they're kind of stressed. Most people that are preoccupied are stressed because they're thinking about all the different things that they got in. Steven needs one nice shirt. Thank you. So, right? So, you know what they look like, right? They're all, they have that face, they're looking down. They're walking kind of fast and they don't see anybody. Got that? Okay, what's another one? Who's got another one? What's that? Roaming. Roaming? I didn't write that one down. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's definitely not roaming. What do you mean? <laughs> sick. How do you feel when you have a fever and you're sick and you're weak and you're sweating and your body aches and you like that, right? Okay, Jennifer, what do you got? Meek. What is meek? Mild. Being oh mild, you're kind of shy, you usually get yourself smiling. Maybe I see people like this and they walk with their head to the side and like that and they took a nice smile. Right? Okay, what else we got? Did we figure out roaming yet? Who's got something beaming. close to roaming? Beaming! Yeah. Beaming! And beaming is like. I had a friend in high school. I better not say anything. I had a friend in high school and he used to always walk around the halls and come in like this. <laughs> I thought he was always happy, but that was his thing. He's like beaming. Okay, so that's one. What else we got? I got angry. Angry. Oh, me too. So when you got angry, don't hit anybody. All right, don't yell at anybody. This is just a body language. It's just a body language. That's why you stink. At I'm not good at it. Be angry. It's actually easy to put yourself in that state. You know, I just did. I was like surprised myself. What else? Because I've been. Mean, you scare yourself? Conceited. Conceited. I got two options for conceited. I got options, right? Here's one option. The whole back room is preoccupied. Right? One option. Are you ready for my other option? You got one what? I'm not listening to the other Okay. All right. What else? Is there one more? We did meek. Roaming. <laughs> okay. So we did meek. We did conceited. We did beaming. We did preoccupied. We did angry. There should be one more. Huh? 
Who likes that one? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe there is. Oh, sick. Sick was the other one. All right. Now. You're going to get yourself in the right mindset, just like an actor would think, think Meryl Streep or Robert De Niro, and then you're going to become that person. And then I want to want you to walk up and just roam around like that person. I want you to really observe others and see how you do <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the directions again. I want you to stand up. You're going to be in that character. You're going to walk around. You're going to see how you feel. And then you're going to observe others. And then we're going to sit down and talk about it. So do it for two minutes. Go. <laughs> no talking or touching or yelling. <laughs> <laughs> No good. Just doing that? Just doing that? Yeah. It changes me. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Just doing that to me. Yeah. Or All right, let's listen up. You listen up. Yeah, Thank you for doing that. Me. Thank you for doing that. Did it change your state of mind and how you felt prior to doing that? Oh. Okay. It's hard when you don't want to be there. So you're not what were you? What was your issue? You were angry. How is it? Did you, you get were? yourself to that state? Why are you going on hooking everybody I, then? Just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me, that makes me <laughs> more <laughs> angry. <laughs> who, else, who else was angry? How did it feel? Did you feel angry? I'm upset at everybody for getting, getting my way. Yeah. <laughs> you could feel the change. Oh, so not feel the change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> who was um, who was conceited? How was that? <laughs> you didn't like it because you felt out of out of your um, your true nature. It's like everybody's like, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, who was um, sick? Oh, you were sick. Were you coughing on everybody? He was coughing on I everybody. Had you. <laughs> 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 yeah. and was, was anyone beaming? That one's fun. That feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I thought it was funny about beaming. I do love beaming. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Later, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Even later, you find out 
else, but that they really aren't. That's and, just and you I can't like. control other people, you can only control no. yourself. So it's just a matter of interpretation. So that would go with the anger of people too. So you know, you can't just judge people. Oh, I thought you meant covered. it'd go with anger because you're angry at them for not buying no. <laughs> Whoa, someone really is not happy with your open house. Yeah, the bottom line is, is you got to kind of like translate and find right. out what it is they really want. Yeah. If you can only control who you're going to be, then which of those serves you? Oh, well, there's another one. Which serves you when you're driving to a listening consultation? Which serves you when you're setting up at an open house? You have to be very careful. Are there a lot of things that get you angry <coughs> while you're setting up for an open house? Like, your signs. Right? Someone whizzes by in front of you. A lot of different things. So make sure you consciously choose which its physical and mental state serves you so you have the best opportunity at that business. It really makes a difference. And you can choose. Because all of us have been sick. All of us have been beaming. All of us has been have been conceited, but then you get told wrong, you're about when you're training classes and you're no longer conceited. <laughs> right? All of us have been one of these. Choose one that serves you for where you are. And I'm, I'm telling you, it makes a difference in your interaction with people to generate business every time. Thank you for being participants. That was fun. But for me, I was like, watch.